Okay, you've seen us create an estimate in the shop without even being here uh, with our estimate system. Then we shot the stud shot. This would be uh, something that would enable a cabinet maker, let's say, to uh, bring in the half inch drywall, set up his cabinets, and then uh, get a rough idea where the scrotting would be at that point. And this shot drywalls up. So what we're going to do now is show you what, uh, what you could do to digitize this whole room with all the scribing prior to the cabinets. Now, if timing is an issue for you, this might be an important thing. It's just one other way you can digitize a room other than after the cabinets are in or after the countertops are in. Okay? So, we're going to start over here and um, just simply hit a couple points on the uh, edge of that wall. That gives us a, um, a point where we can define that corner. Now, in scribing, there's probably a stud in the middle there. We're going to hit that. And then, we want to stay three, four inches out of the corner uh, for several reasons. Number one, this is going to allow us to uh, uh, get where the drywall mud would start building up. Then we put one right in the corner. Notice when I have a reflection there, a reflection there, and I get real close, I can see exactly where that's at in the corner. Then I come three, four inches out where the drywall mud would start. Now I'm going to move along every stud or so. I happened to look at this wall in the beginning. It was really straight, so I don't need a lot of points on this wall at all. Um, the uh, sink wall needs a little more work. Notice that I'm measuring here over this large pile of hardwood flooring there, and if this was any other type of uh, uh, digitizing machine, that might be real difficult. Uh, the laser can shoot up to 600 feet without you having to be there. Now here, in the last uh, clip, we didn't show a center point for the sink. So what I'm going to do is change here on laser mode to cross, put this where I believe the sink should be, uh, here, in this case, it would be the middle of the window, and put a little cross in there. This will allow me to, um, uh, to know exactly where my sink center point is going to be. And obviously, once the cabinets are in, you can choose another one if you so desire. Again, two little points on the edge of this wall allows me to get a nice tight fillet corner there. Now, if I put the laser somewhere else in here, I might have to put a target up, but I didn't in this case. Again, two small points and a little target. Now, these are the only two targets we had to install here. This allowed us to um, get some points that would fill it right on the corner of the drywall. Okay. Four or five minutes, we're done. This could enable you to scribe the countertops prior to the cabinets. For some people, that might be a big thing. Uh, we believe it's important to be able to have flexibility to move from any type of digitizing to fit your needs. Now we're going to move on to uh, a cabinet shop once they're installed and show you what to do in terms of uh, digitizing cabinets and then the walls. And then lastly, we will shoot uh, uh, the whole situation with the countertops in place much as a, an existing top situation would be.